Chapter Three. The next morning, Dorothy, the Scarecrow, the Tin Woodsman, and the Cowardly Lion all met at the gates of the Emerald City. They turned west and started to look for the Wicked Witch's castle. But the Wicked Witch had very powerful magic. Her eyes could see anywhere in her kingdom. As soon as Dorothy and her friends crossed the border, the Wicked Witch saw them. Who are these people? I think the Wizard of Oz sent them. I will make them my slaves. Flying monkeys, come to me! Quickly, a group of monkeys flew down to the Wicked Witch. They all had wings like giant eagles. There are some strangers from the Emerald City in my kingdom. Catch them and bring them to my castle. Yes, my queen. The monkeys flew up and away. Soon they saw Dorothy and her friends. They zoomed down and picked them up high into the air. When they landed, they put everyone into a cold, dark room. Dorothy started to cry. We'll get our is terrible. We've been caught. Now none of us will get our wishes. <laughs> There, there, Dorothy. It's all right. We're still together. I'm sure we'll be okay. The Tin Woodsman gave Dorothy a hug and let her cry on his shoulder. Her tears rusted his arm stiff, but he didn't mind. A while later, the flying monkeys returned. They took everyone to the Wicked Witch. Dorothy was very scared, but she tried to be brave. Who are you people? What are you doing in my kingdom? Hello, Mr. The Wizard of Oz sent us. Please have your broom. My broom? You want my broom? Of course not. It's my broom, and now you are my slaves. The Cowardly Lion had an idea. He would scare the Wicked Witch. And then take her broom. He raised his long claws, showed his big teeth, and roared at the wicked witch. Roar! She waved broom at the lion. Suddenly, he was frozen like a statue. You thought you could scare me? Ha! Now. I have a new lion statue. I will put you by my front door, but I will need another statue for the other side of my front door. She waved her broom again, and a bucket of water appeared. This water will rust the Tin Woodsman. He will be my other statue, and you, Scarecrow. I will use your straw for my fireplace. The wicked witch waved her broom a third time. The scarecrow's arm burst into flames. Dorothy grabbed the bucket of water and threw it on the scarecrow. The water put out the fire. But it also splashed on the wicked witch. Oh no! What have you done? You got me wet. I'm sorry, but the scarecrow's arm was on fire. I had to put it out. I didn't mean to splash you too. You terrible child! I melt! I'm melting. It was true. She was melting like an ice cream cone. Soon there was nothing left but her hat and her broom. When she was gone, all her spells broke. Suddenly, the lion could move again.
The flying monkeys flew down to see what happened. She's dead. The wicked witch is dead. I'm so. It was an accident. I didn't know water would hurt her. This is wonderful. She was an evil witch. We're glad she's gone. But now we don't have a queen anymore. Who will rule us? What are you talking about? The wicked witch had the magic hat of the flying monkeys. Whoever has the magic hat is our ruler, and we have to obey them. You are a nice person. Will you take the magic hat and be our queen? We'll do whatever you say. No, I can't be your queen. I have to go home to Kansas. I have an idea. We will give the magic hat to the flying monkeys. Then they will be their own rulers. No one will ever make them do anything again. Really? really? Hooray! We are free. The flying monkeys were very happy. They gave Dorothy the wicked witch's broom and carried them back to the Emerald City.